Hi guys, in this video I want to show you guys how to install Flatpak applications or packages on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet HPX11 or any Chromebook with ARM processors such as Duet 5 and also the Asus CM3. Flatpak packages actually are Linux applications which you download and install through FlatHub server. So it makes it really easy to find and install these Linux applications which I would recommend for anybody who is using Linux on these devices. Hope you guys will enjoy this video and as always don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned. For the purpose of this video I prepared a document which I will go through step by step and I will make this text also available in the description in the below so you can also easily copy paste and use the commands here. The first thing that we need to do here is to install the Linux environment on our Chromebooks. To do so, we need to go to the settings and in the settings, we will be able to install the Linux on our Chromebook. You will find this under the advanced developer. We have the option to install and turn on the Linux environment. And after the installation, we can continue with the other commands that we have to follow. Now we are finished with the installation of the Linux on our Chromebook. As you guys see, the terminal opens automatically after the installation. I will close it. I will show you guys where you can find the terminal on the app drawer. Now I want to continue with the list that I made and step by step follow the commands here. The second thing that we need to do is to run the crush here. It's important to run this crush and these commands and execute them. Otherwise, we will face an error later, which I put also in the description below. If you want, you can go and have a look. So it's really important to run these commands on the crush environment. So I press Ctrl Alt T. It opens the crush environment. Now I'm going to just copy paste these commands here one by one and I'm going to execute them here. In order to paste the commands, you just need to press the right click on your mouse. Now I will close the crush environment. We don't need it anymore, so we will continue with the step-by-step -step instruction here. So now I need to run the terminal here. So now that Linux is running, so we can continue with our commands here. First thing, I need to update and upgrade our Linux environment here. Now that we are finished with updating and upgrading our Linux environment on our Chromebooks, we can continue with the next step and that's going to be the installation of the Flatpak in our devices. So easy, just copy this command here and again paste it on the Linux terminal using the right click on your mouse. We are finished with the installation of the Flatpak on our Chromebook. Now we can continue with the adding the FlatHub repository to our Chromebook Linux terminal. FlatHub will be the place that our apps will be downloaded. So it's really important to add this repository. So the FlatHub repository is also added. Now I need to shut down Linux. And after the shutting down, I need to run the Linux again. So now we can continue with our list. The next step is to go to the FlatHub website. And FlatHub website is where our application will be downloaded. And you can think about it as an App Store or Play Store for Linux applications. So you have a better idea of what kind of application exists for the Linux environment, especially if you're a beginner, that's perfect, this website. And you can go to the browse here and you can see what kind of applications you have. You have so many applications, so many games that you can install. Sometimes it will be tough to find this application for the Chromebooks with ARM architecture. So I think this FlatHub is a perfect idea and perfect place to install the applications. I will now install the video editing application OpenShot on our device here. Just copy paste the command and it will continue with the installation here. 
And I want to show you guys how you can find this on the website actually with this command. So I go to the flat hub, I search here for OpenShot and it will show me the OpenShot application. And afterwards I can show you guys how you can install it. Don't click on the install button here. Just scroll down and the bottom you have the comments here which you can copy and paste on the Linux terminal which works better. Now we are finished with the installation of the OpenShot the video editing application and now I will run it as you guys see we have the application here you just need to click on it it will take some time when you open it for the first time but second time will be faster as you guys see OpenShot application works quite fine you're able to use the application with no problem you can install so many different applications you need to go to FlatHub search for the application that you want and copy the link and paste it on the Linux terminal and execute it. You can install games or you can install editing applications such as Ink Escape. Here I also added some useful commands that you can execute in terminal. Here for example Flatpak list. If I copy it and paste it on the terminal we will see all of the applications which were installed using the Flatpak. For example OpenShot which I installed and you see um, some other applications which are necessary to run this OpenShot application using the Flatpak packages. If you want to uninstall application that you installed using the Flatpak, you cannot just go to the app drawer and uninstall them. You have to use the command here and you open the terminal and copy paste it there. If you want to find the application ID, you need to write the Flatpak list and there you have the application ID. You need to copy it and add it to the an install pass that we have here then you can execute it and the application will be removed additionally you can also install the flatpak app store using the command which i have here you just need to copy it paste it in the terminal execute it then you will install the application which will look like a play store and there you will find all of the Flatpak applications which you can install and run on your device. I also added the error which you will get if you don't follow the instructions here, especially the first part when you don't execute these commands on the crush, then you will have some issues later when you run the applications. As I said before, you can find the application ID when you execute the Flatpak list. There you have the application ID which you need for uninstalling an application. So you need to replace this application ID with the application which you want to uninstall. There are also some applications which you cannot install using the Flatpak packages. For example, Blender is one of these applications which you can install but you're not able to run them, it doesn't work. And we have the Steam or Signal which you cannot install at all because they don't have the ARM architecture in the Flatpak packages. For example, I will check for here for the Steam on the Flathub website. I will find the link here. I will copy it to install it. I will click here, right click here to write to uninstall the application there. And as you guys see here, we will see this error here. And if you see this error, it means that this application is, doesn't exist for the ARM architecture. You can install Flatpak packages on any Chromebook with ARM processor. Here I have the HP X211, which is also a Chromebook with ARM processor, which has a Snapdragon 7C processor. Now I will try to run one of the applications. It's the open board, which I installed using the flat packages. And as you guys will see, the pen input works quite well in this application. However, there is some issue with the application here and that's the palm rejection. It doesn't work quite well. I want to show you guys also one more game and that's the Zero AD game which you can run on the Chromebooks with ARM processors using these Flatpak packages. So you can install them, the same process that I showed you guys. As you guys see, everything works quite well. The icons are really small here, so I would recommend if you connect the device to a larger screen, then you can really enjoy the game actually, it works quite well. However, I reduced the graphic quality here, then it worked much better.
So that was it for this video. I showed you guys how to install the Flatpak packages and Linux application on Chromebooks with ARM processors, which is really helpful, especially if you're a beginner, if you don't know which Linux applications exist for your device. And also it can be tough to find the ARM applications. You can install these applications on the Lenovo Duet, HPX11, Asus CM3, and also Lenovo Duet 5, and they will work quite fine. But don't forget to execute these commands here, which I marked here on Crush. If you don't follow these steps, you will face a problem later, an error, which you cannot run the applications. So that was it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and Chrome OS updates.